What up, folks? Recently, I put up a video about travel underwear. And basically, we're talking about underwear for backpackers. Something that basically synthetic fibers and washes real easy and dries real quick. And just basically, it beats cotton. I mean, we talk about the touch of cotton, but cotton has problems. It takes a long time to dry. It doesn't always last as long as we would like. Yeah, it's a natural fiber and everything, but it can have problems. And in the way of socks, it actually supposedly causes blisters in the way that it keeps its moisture. Now, speaking for myself, I've never got a blister on my foot, but I've seen it in others and it's not pretty. The other day, I went to the store, a dollar store called Viva or JJ. I don't know what it is. Viva, JJ, either it was a name change. There are a few of them here in the LA area. And picked up a pair of these athletic socks for a dollar. And I was really surprised. And they seem to be of a decent quality. We're talking about they're primarily polyester, nylon, and spandex. I've already tried them out as far as washing and they dry reasonably quick and they might be a benefit to me traveling. If you're the backpacker type, you don't want to bring a whole lot of unnecessary stuff. You want to keep everything in your backpack if you can. Therefore, when I used to travel to the teacher's convention, uh, and it was a little over a week with travel days, I would bring a pair of socks for each day. And, well, that does take up a bit of room. So now, with the three pair that I bought yesterday, chances are I'm only going to bring about three, maybe four pair of socks. The pair that I'm wearing and the three that I'm going to bring, and I'm going to wash, hand wash my clothes basically every day or every other day. So when I go back home, I don't have to worry about washing a bunch of clothes, but that means I can bring a lot less. And that's the whole ideal in having certain clothing with synthetic fibers. I mean, the polyester nylon shorts that I'm going to wear, the shirts that I wear are going to be polyester, and my underwear and socks. So it's just something travelers need to think about. Now, you can go around carrying the big suitcases. I used to bring two suitcases to that convention every year, and now that I think about it, ever since I'm in backpacking mode, I have no idea what I brought that I would need two suitcases. So again, the socks are at Viva or JJ, I know here in the LA area. I'm assuming different parts of the country have different types of discount stores. Check what your socks are made of. And as far as traveling, when you're backpacking, you're touring around the cities or out in the country, whatever you're doing, you might want to consider synthetic fiber socks polyester, nylon, something that you don't have to bring a whole lot of pairs and they wash and dry easy. And if you like how I'm going to be where I'm going to be washing like every day or every other day, and we're talking about hand wash. We're not talking about using a washing machine, just something simple, even washing with a dry bag. Now, the soap that I'm going to be using is going to be antibacterial. So that's going to give me somewhat of a boost as far as bacteria, which is which can cause odors, um, fungus, which we know, especially in socks, can cause odor. So again, I'm trying to give myself a little bit of a boost. In doing that, you don't have to bring a whole lot of stuff. I'm keeping everything in a 40 liter backpack. So this is just something that you might want to consider if you want to do any type of traveling. 
It makes things a whole lot easier. So something to consider, folks. Just something to consider.